We are now touring Egypt. Today we will see the city of Aswan. In my previous videos you had already seen most of Luxor and Abu Simbel. We are now leaving Luxor city for Aswan. We are now traveling in the city of Luxor. This is the international youth hostel. We have to join the police convoy which will take us from Luxor to Aswan. We have to go in a convoy due to the security reasons. You already know that this part is very dangerous from the terrorist side. All tourists must travel along with the convoy. This convoy will start at 3 pm. So you can see our convoy has already started. The police van is going in the front. And this is a railway station called Telvia. On the left, it's a railway track which goes from Luxor to Cairo. On our right, we can see the River Nile. Now we have reached a portion. From here, a second part of the convoy will start. First part was accompanied by the Luxor police. From here, it will be Aswan police. Total high security is being maintained. You can see the Aswan police has already come. An armed police is now in our car sitting beside the driver. We are now driving towards Aswan. We have stopped at a railway crossing now. We have reached the Edfu city. You can see the locals on the road, the Egyptian lifestyle we can see. Finally, we reached Aswan. We will stay tonight at Cleopatra Hotel. 
we reached in the evening. After check-in and a brief rest, we have come to see the tourist bazaar in Aswan. Our guide is explaining about the city. It's a very busy market. Next day morning, we will go for Aswan city tour. This is the view of Aswan Dam. You know this dam is constructed over River Nile. From here we will visit a Philly temple which is in, located in an island. We need to go by a motorboat to visit the temple. This is our boat. The Philly Temple Complex is an island-based temple complex in the reservoir of the Aswan Low Dam, downstream of the Aswan Dam and Lake Nasser. These rapids and surrounding area have been variously flooded since the initial construction of the Aswan Lower Dam in 1902. The temple complex was located on Philly Island near the expansive first cataract of the Nile in Upper Egypt. Finally, we reached the temple site. The temple complex was dismantled and moved to nearby Ajilkia Island as part of the UNESCO Nubia campaign project. Monuments were cleaned and measured by using photogrammetry, a method that enables the exact reconstruction of the original size of the building blocks that were used by the ancients. Then every building was dismantled into about 40,000 units from 2 to 25 tons and then transported to the nearby island of Ajilkia, situated on the higher ground some 500 meters away. Beyond the entrance into the principal court are small temples, one of which was dedicated to Isis, Hathor and a wide range of deities related to midwifery and it is covered with sculptures representing the birth of Ptolemy Philometor under the figure of God Horus. The story of Osiris is everywhere represented on the walls of this temple and two of its inner chambers are particularly rich in symbolic imagery. After seeing the temple, we are now returning to the city. Now we'll visit the unfinished obelisk in Aswan. After touring Aswan, we have come to the Aswan railway station. We will take a train to Cairo. Cairo is around 900 kilometers from here. Train will start around 5 pm. And this is our hook. It is very well equipped, you can see, and it is very nice. Finally, we reached Cairo railway station. From here, we will go to the Cosmopolitan Hotel. This is Cairo railway station. All around is guarded by police officials for security reasons. Next day morning, we will visit the famous Cairo Museum and photography is strictly prohibited inside.
Today we will return to Kolkata from Cairo via Dubai. This is Cairo International Airport. We are waiting for a flight to Dubai.